What's up campers? Fall is here and I'm going to show you how I put my trailer away to keep the mice out all winter long. So stick around. Well, step one, open it up and let it dry right out. The last thing you want to do is put this thing away with the canvas or vinyl wet. I call it canvas because I'm old. All right, some people don't believe me, but I also take any paper plates out because think about it, that's a mouse house. So we got to get all of this out and all that food out of here, all our bedding down in here anything that is like food related it's gotta go i guess somebody was lonely and bugging mama so now i got some help right pup yeah let's do this now let's uh not forget to take out all of our electronics if you have a cd player dvd player take all that stuff out uh this here this is my power inverter here but before i disconnect all my wires down here what i need to do is i gotta disconnect them from the battery terminal so I don't get zapped or create a spark or anything crazy like that. That also leads me to taking the batteries out. Now with the batteries, you wanna store them somewhere safe and where they won't freeze. Personally me, where I live, it doesn't get that cold. You gotta keep your batteries up off of the cold concrete, otherwise they'll, they'll go dead and once they get to a certain point, there's no bringing them back. So what I do is what my grandpa told me and grandpa's always right as far as I'm concerned. I take mine, I throw them on a couple of two by fours. My, I have two batteries. So what I do is I keep them tied together like I do all summer. Now the reason I keep these two tied together, we'll call it battery one and battery two. Say for example, battery two gets lower than battery one over the winter, but doesn't come back up to the same level as battery one. When you tie them together, I call it tie them together in the spring, what will happen is battery one will be always constantly trying to bring battery two back up to the same level as it is. Therefore, it's creating its own deadness if you will it's, it's killing itself to charge a battery to bring it up to a point that it's never going to reach now if you keep them tied together that won't happen i've been doing this three years now and i haven't had an issue this would be my first year having two batteries that are identical but i've had batteries before in the past where uh they were just different makes brands whatever that doesn't matter as long as they're around the same age. These two batteries have always been tied together, so I'm gonna leave it that way and everything will be perfect in the spring. All right, now that we got all the electronics out, all of the bedding, everything's all out of this thing, it's time for the fun part. Okay, what I like to do is make sure that the plug is out of the sink and just give it one of these. Oh, one second before we do. We want to turn on the pump, drain all that water, let it go. Okay, nothing's coming out. Give it a few more seconds. So you can hear it's getting pressure, but it won't shut off. That's okay, we'll shut the switch off so we don't burn the pump out. Now, what I like to do, put it down, put it back up. I do this a couple times.
One more for good luck. Awesome. This stuff here, this is all I ever use. It's good enough for what I need. I've taken this sink up and down three times now, so the lines under here, see how they're all flexible? In my mind, that helps get all of the water that could be pooling in there out. Pop this open. We're gonna give it a little See how much I used? Barely any. Wait for that to go down and I'll show you what I do outside. Okay, so what I've done here is I just have my hose, blah, 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 into this little bucket. Now try not to spill it. See all that? That's clear water. We don't want that. We want antifreeze. So let's go add some more. Hey, now we got some pink coming out of there. That's awesome. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I also find you have to keep that hose as straight as possible in this scenario. I'll show you what I do in the summertime in another video. Now that we got that done, put it up and down one or two more times. I should mention that before I towed this home, I opened up my valve and drained this tank and I've left this in the open position. That way, as I'm towing and the water slushes around, it's gonna trickle out so that it's completely empty. I will also leave this open all winter long just for, in case for any reason, there's water in there that needs to come out, it has the opportunity to do so. This is the part where I tell you how to keep the mice out of your trailer because mice love pen trailers. If you can see up in this corner here, I have a sandwich of Gorilla Tape because the year I bought this thing, a mouse got into this and uh, I actually got a pretty good deal on it because there was a big hole there. I got lucky because mine, the hard top, actually covers the hole. But I've been doing this trick ever since and this is why I'm sharing it. Now everybody says use bounce sheets. Everybody says use the peppermint. Everybody says use cloves. Everybody says use Irish spring. Well, here to tell you, I use them all. What I do is I cut my soap into six like this and then I put them in strategic places all around. Now, when I say buy cloves, buy the whole ones. Because the first year I bought clove powder, not realizing it. So what I've been doing is I buy ones exactly like this. They're easy to vacuum up in the spring. All right, so what I do, just like, it's so simple, anybody can do it. Another handful, we like it down here because that's where my uh, power cord comes in. And I'll tell you right now, I duct tape that closed. Down in there, get that bag. These cupboards down here. Pretty much all four corners is where I'm going to put it in every cupboard. Be liberal with them. These bounce sheets, same idea. I'm not going to use the whole box, but they're cheap. I just go to the dollar store for these. My Irish soap. Uh, sorry, Irish spring. And... What I like to do, because you know this bed is going to be at the very back, I like to keep them down here, just like this, easy peasy, and do the same 
on the other bed. Also, I throw them all around the whole perimeter of the trailer. So when this thing's all closed up, those bunks are at the very top at the seal at the roof. So hopefully this is the first deterrent for any mice coming in through that seal. One more trick that I almost forgot to do. My fridge, Ooh, I can't do this one handed. There we go. Leaves it open a bit. With the peppermint, you're also going to want to buy these cotton balls. And it's real simple, just bloop, bloop, throw it wherever you, uh, you think that a mice, mice, mouse could get in. Just like that. Down here. They like to walk across stuff like this. And keep in mind that they are blind, so they like to stick to walls so that they know they're somewhat covered. All right, sorry about the crummy lighting. It's getting dark. It's Halloween day, so I'm late to the party. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. I'll drive this out to my storage uh, place tomorrow and it'll be done. We got all of the um, cotton balls, the cloves, they're all under there as well. You can't really see it, but regardless. Yeah. Smells like Christmas in here with the cloves and the peppermint. It's actually kind of, it's nice. Anyway, there's a few more things I want to show you. So stick around. I got to close this all up and I'll show you what the final thing I do before I take this away. All right. So this is my final last little tip. I take, I cut these into six, as I said. All I do is I just stick them right in there in all four corners. My trailer also has a slide out, so I'm gonna throw one in each corner of that slide out as well. There's the slide out. So all I do is I stick one, kinda sorta, something like that. Right here as well. Set it right there. One in this corner and one in the other corner and we're all done. Okay, now that we're all done, the only thing that I'm going to do, once I get this towed away to wherever I'm storing it, see my roof rack here? I'll put a two by four across the top and then drape a tarp over it. But I also tuck the tarp underneath so that it's not hitting the ground as to uh, not create a nice little home underneath it for the mice so that there's wind that'll go under it throughout the winter and stuff like that. Honestly, with the price of lumber right now, I'm more worried about somebody stealing that two by four that's across the top than making off with the whole trailer because they're worth about the same at this point, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll wrap this video up. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you think that I did miss something, throw a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it or listen to it or maybe somebody else needs to hear it as well. All right, well, until the spring, Happy camping. And keep the mouse out. Mouse out? Mice. No, seriously. Afraid. Okay. <laughs> no, they're hey, mine! Give it! They're mine. I'll play with them later. I'll give them back to you later. No, they're mine. No. Go it's away. It's over. Go, go. You're scaring Bruno. Come on. <laughs> Look at this guy. You want your candy, little boy? Oh, yeah. <laughs>